your journey from completely non-technical Hindi medium student to uh, someone who is leading a team of analytics at MPL. So how it all happened? You are saying you started working as a data science trainee to build email bot. This technique requires a lot of more technical knowledge. How you gain that? So this is something which I am interested <laughs> to learn more about. What kind of fraud you detected? Anyone is planning to start joining the analytics or data science? Person first learn the SQL and the basic mathematics. SQL is about SQL. Hello everyone. So today we have Rishabh with us. Right now he is working as a senior data analyst for MPL. Now you must have heard about MPL, right? Now the reason we have called him is because of his amazing journey. The very first thing which I want to tell you about him is he came from Ghatampur. This is a very small town in Uttar Pradesh. He was from a Hindi background UP board student, no coding, mechanical student. Then gradually he made himself land into analytics and now he is doing great. So today in this discussion, we'll be going to understand his journey, how he entered into analytics and what amazing projects he is doing right now. So let's get started with this discussion. Welcome Rishabh to this podcast. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, Rishabh, the very first thing which I wanted to understand from you is about your journey because uh, in my initial discussion with you, I, I can understand that you have taken your journey from completely non-technical Hindi medium student to uh, someone who is leading a team of analytics at MPL. So how it all happened? Uh, actually, I born and brought up in the Kanpur and I studied in the UP board Hindi medium. Then I have given the intense exam of UP2 and I took the uh, bit, uh, admission in B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering. Mm -hmm. During the Mechanical Engineering, I didn't have any interest into the programming. After B.Tech, uh, I took two year gap to preparation for the gate and give some competitive exam. And along with that, I also taught, taught in the uh, some private college in the Kanpur. Mm -hmm. Then I joined the MBA in Business Analytics. So mm -hmm. that time I joined Business Analytics, I was not much aware about the Business Analytics. Mm -hmm. I heard from the, some, of, some of my colleagues and they explained me some MBA in Business Analytics, but you will get some data like this. Mm -hmm. But I was not aware about it, it is about the coding. Mm -hmm. Once I enter into the MBA, uh, so in end of the first year, we have the one subject R. That was the art programming. So this uh, when uh, professor has started teaching me. So in the first time, uh, I was more towards the coding. Sometimes I understand, sometimes I, I didn't understand. So basically, it's the starting of R was very difficult for you. Yeah, it's very because I was not aware about the basic data structure, how actually how we should write the program, okay. what the logic behind it, okay. how to think in that way. Okay. So I was not aware about it, but slowly, slowly I start watching some videos and I also uh, enrolled myself in the uh, one internship from the IM Lucknow under the uh, Samir Mathur. Okay. So when I was going through his tutorial, then I understand how how should we write the program in the R okay. and how to solve the problem through the uh, analytics. And the first live experience in uh, uh, analytics was during my MBA, I started one portal speedynews.in. So that was your own uh, oh. startup, something like that. Yeah. So my target audience was the Hindi viewers, North Indian people who knew the Hindi and who prefer to read news in Hindi. So it was a... Hindi uh, website or maybe Hindi news website. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, Hindi. So in the starting first, I created the primary and the secondary data. As per that, I start building my website okay. and I started posting ra random news. So once I start posting the random news, I start getting the lots of data. And from where you were getting the data? Uh, from the Google Analytics. Okay. So you basically, you started analyzing the Google Analytics yeah, data. Yeah. So I so I started uh, analyzing the Google Analytics data, and as per the your data mm -hmm. insights, I started making my strategy for the business. Okay. So within few months, I grow my business from the five uh, five thousand daily viewers to sixty thousand uh, daily viewers with pure organic market. And I haven't spent the single penny in, okay. in the uh, affiliate marketing. Okay. Great. So this was the first where I understood about the how product work, how data work, how data can help in taking the product decision as well as the business decision. But at that time, uh, in Google Analytics, you were not actually coding. You were just using the interface to yeah, get the data. Yeah, and yeah. Moreover, you were using your logical thinking to basically get the insights from the data. Yeah, so see coding in the analytics, coding is a one part. Okay. Coding, I don't think coding is much complex, but how you can make 
insight from the data how you can consume the data mm-hmm. because uh, nowadays in the uh, uh, internet industry there there are lots of data mm-hmm. but how you will consume the uh, insight from the data that is very important okay okay so you uh, basically is, this was first experience as a as maybe a data professional i would say yeah, right? yeah. and then how you proceeded in your journey then after mba i joined the adwise financial services mumbai uh, there i was working with the uh, analytics intern there i built a multiple tableau dashboard multiple ad hoc and that was the first time when i learned the sql 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 okay so means in two month uh, i used in the adwise but that was a very good period for me i learned how actually sql work how to think in that way uh, my manager has taught me you rishab you have to think in that way this uh-huh. is the syntax as in which way you have to think in which way you have to write the code before that you have and so the very first time you interacted with sql was on job yeah so before that you were not no. uh, using sql no okay. i just went through the for the interview preparation i went through the few website okay. coding but that was that was the first time when i interacted with the real problems okay and so that was your uh, first project after like first job after yeah, mba, MBA. Yeah. and that too as an internship yeah so when your actual job started like so after adwise i joined the yatra.com okay. uh, so in the data science training so i was working as a data science trainee there I started my journey for the building the email bot. So Yatra have the multiple B two B client. So uh, I want to interrupt over here. Yeah. Uh, you are saying you started working as a uh, data science trainee. Data science trainee to build email bot. Yeah, at Yatra. So email bot. This technique requires a lot of more technical knowledge. How you gain that? So I went through the some courses. I went through the few papers. Uh, how all the thing and even the in yatra my managers my colleagues were very supportive so he suggested me should use go with in that way and before it during my mba uh, i work on the few project on the nlp basis okay so yeah. basically i if i can understand from your journey you learned most of the things during the job yeah that was a very great uh, advantage for you as so a having supportive uh, colleagues is a very plus point uh, working in such um uh, team right so uh, what what you did in yatra like what was your role and response so uh, i was responsible for the training the email bot okay. so if uh, you are not able to understand the email what email bot is like a chat bot in the chat bot it responds for the chat but email bot is give the response to the uh, customer about the email so, so whenever it's like a automatic reply to an customer yeah, email yeah 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 okay yeah so yatra is about the tabbing website okay. so if you are going to book any any b2b client is going to book any ticket they will write a mail hi team i want to book a ticket from uh, origin a to destination b on this date and uh-huh. you will write in any way uh-huh. so how bot will understand which is the origin which is which is destination which is the date, date. Oh. which is the first trip which is the second trip what type of uh, customization you need in the first trip what type of the customization you need in the second trip all these thing is going through the nlp okay so there was the manual process earlier uh-huh. for replying of the single email it used to take around the 45 to 55 minute same work bot was doing less than 2 to 3 minute okay so you were able to uh, automate all the like booking process yeah uh, not not booking process it's about the informing so suppose someone has mail us uh, hi team i want to book a ticket from origin a to destination b, b. Okay. Okay. so you we you have to give the multiple options okay you have the uh, airlines a you have the airlines b okay. this fare this time you have to give the all then they will select then uh, you have to book okay. yeah book was the manual process but the reply of the email was the okay. uh, automated process so before this email bot uh, the, everything was uh, manual manual yeah. so the, a, a physical person was reading the yeah, email yeah, yeah. then replying with the options and you automated that process by uh, uh, identifying the uh, the, uh, the intent words. yeah yeah so there was i have used the spacey nltk and also the google dialog flow okay great great So this was one of your major project at Yatra. Yeah. What was the duration or work time at Yatra? So Yatra's? around I work around the eight month uh, in the Yatra, and after Yatra I joined the Rapido as a business analyst. Rapido. Yeah. So uh, what year you joined Rapido? In two thousand nineteen. December nineteen. So I would say Rapido was also starting themselves in in that year. Right? Yeah, yeah. So in- you must be having a lot of issues at Rapido also. No, uh, Rapido is uh, means I spent uh, in Rapido around the two and a half year. 
Okay. I started my journey as a business analyst and I was handling the complete South India from the data perspective, okay. either the customer segmentation, diverse segmentation, diverse incentive, diverse customer discounting, mismatch of the supply and demand. I also worked towards the operation analytics and the supply chain analytics. Okay. Then after a few months uh, in Rapido, I promoted as a data analyst okay. and I started working towards the central analytics team. So any any kind of project that you want to discuss, like which excited you the most or maybe you gained most of your learning? Yeah, so actually there I built a model on uh, which was predicting the demand. So suppose Dabar is in location A and uh, Dabar has uh, uh, in location A and he is not getting the right. Okay. So which area should I suggest to nearby? If driver will go from location A to location B, location A to location C, what is the probability to get a ride in the location B? What is the probability to get a ride in location C? Okay. So this is based on the linear regression model, uh -huh. which is helping to increase the driver uh, experience or driver revenue. Okay. So if driver will not get the good earning, driver will leave us. Okay. So how we can ensure driver get the good earning? So if, if the driver will get so many number of rides, as the number of right uh, he, he will get as uh, their revenue will get uh, increased mm -hmm. and and the revenue is directly proportional to their tenure it's tenure okay great. yeah and then uh, in rapido yeah your, your tenure was two and a half years yeah so, so along with that uh, i was also handling the complete the marketing uh, from marketing. the yeah okay. i was a poc of the marketing at rapido i was handling the complete the customer acquisition side from the analytics point of view mm -hmm. and also I was handling the little bit customer retention okay. there uh, I have built the marketing attribution model I have reduced the customer acquisition cost and I have also identified the multiple type of the frauds fraud so this is something which I am interested <laughs> to learn more about what kind of fraud you detected so uh, I'm just explaining you the one fraud example so one person from the Delhi, uh -huh. he has referred the 100 new customer into the Gaya. Okay. All those 100 new customer has registered themselves. Once they were registered, the new customer as well as the old customer both will get some coin. coin okay. The old customer is redeeming all the coin by booking the ride where order value is more than 400 and 500 rupees. Okay. So in the Rapido bike taxis, we have some uh, some proportion in which we get. But every time uh, he is booking 400, 500 rupees ride, and that ride is always getting accepted by the same driver. Okay. And I check there is an interconnection between the all those hundred uh, old new customer, the old customer and the driver, and always the pickup and drop location is same, and the driver is same. Customer is booking only that uh, ride. Uh -huh. So I found like this, and also I found. We are getting a new customer from the those area where we are not serviceable. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have still we are giving the coin. So I suggested to the product team we, uh, we should uh, from the back end we should make in that system. If the new customer through referred, if we got some new customer from the those area where uh, we don't have a service, we we should not give. By doing so so many other activity also we have reduced around the eighty percent fraud. Okay, so this uh, the fraud that you discussed about uh, about Gaya. So at that time, Rapido was operational at Gaya or not? Uh, not. They were not. Mm -hmm. So that's again an indication that yeah, it is yeah. something related to fraud. Yeah, yeah. So again, uh, I frequently book Rapido and I have never spent more than two fifty rupees. So four hundred is a very big cost. Four hundred, five hundred rupees. So that basically means around uh, 30, 35 kilometers, and it's a very long. Yeah. Distance. Yeah, but still, we uh, we book so uh, this rapido. this particular uh, activity or maybe the insights that you were able to gain. Uh, did you use any kind of modeling, or it was ex only exploration? Uh, see, the first thing is that in every problem, once a problem came, mm -hmm. if not, we have to just use the fancy data science, fancy anything. First, we have to think how we can solve the problem. Not every problem is getting solved by data science. Sometimes by normal logical thinking, normal mathematics, we can solve the problem. Like so connecting this, dots. That yeah, yeah, did. yeah, yeah. So we have to build the multiple hypotheses and we have to validate one by one. Okay, okay. And uh, after um, uh, your tenure at Rapido, which company you joined? Uh, I joined the Ola Electric. So Ola Electric. Yeah. So you, from the transportation, you <laughs> kept yourself in transportation, but that was more of manufacturing and product. Uh, as a product side yeah so what kind of problem you solved over so there so in the ola electric i joined the assistant manager product analytics so i work i was working for the product group. Okay. i built a model that we call as a classification so we are getting the multiple customer complaint 
सपोज यू हैव परचेज स्कूटर और आई हैव परचेज यू हैव सम इश्यूज और यू आर ड्राइविंग द स्कूटर साइड माइट बी बैटरी इज नॉट गेटिंग चार्ज माइट बी सम देर इज इश्यू सो मल्टीपल पीपल आर मल्टीपल कस्टमर आर डूइंग द मल्टीपल कंप्लेन्स एवरी डे सो देयर वाज वन मैनुअल टीम हु इज कैटराइजिंग कंप्लेन इन टू द देयर मेजर इश्यूज who is the person who is collecting all these do you like uh, complaints uh, that are the uh, customer care so suppose i have purchased any scooter i have any issue i will call to the customer care okay. and i say i have this many issues so customer care is noting down all the customer issues as an as an email or maybe as an a manual text uh, as a one we have the one portal, portal. in which they can write all the uh, description of the issues okay so uh, there is a one manual team who is who is identify okay uh, with this uh, this issue will go into the this category mm-hmm. suppose the battery issue in the battery issue battery is not charging battery is not giving the performance suppose the lever have a uh, dent some crack is there there are lots of issues yeah. so lots of issue have one major issues one major issue have the multiple sub issues okay. so uh, we have to first identify the sub issues then we have to categorize into the major issues okay which will come under this okay so uh, there was the one manual team who were doing all these things so i built the one lstm model mm-hmm. this was the classification uh, uh, who is automatic doing all these things Okay so previously it was done everything like manually it, it was a very time consuming process and now yeah yeah so w- what was the total um, time reduction you were able to gain after doing this activity this is complete a uh, one day task so see because in the manual human have the one limited capacity mm. so if suppose the uh, three people are there who are doing the manual tracking if we have got the 1000 complaint it's hard to do the categorizing of the 1000 complaint in a single day mm-hmm. so many times for the 1000 complaint it used to take around the one and a half to two day okay. for the model is doing in around the 10 minutes oh great yeah so from Rapido, then Ola Electric, then Ampil, completely different. Now Ampil is a completely different sector, I would say. Yeah. Probably. Oh, what so, are the problems you are ch- solving here right now? So in country, I am working for the fantasy game. Okay. So uh, we have launched the two new product that we are calling it a striker in the GGX. Okay. Striker is about the fantasy game. Okay. We have launched the cricket. Okay. So in this, I am uh, I have one build the model for the churn analytics. Okay. We are getting the lots of customer every day. How we can increase the retention in that churn prediction work? So today we have acquired the one thousand customer. If we have to check what is the probability. which customer will churn out or which customer will not churn out mm-hmm. it's very important so we, it will help if we know okay customer a b c d are going to churn we can make the customization notification customized discounting for them okay so okay. here we what were the uh, if i talk about the churn prediction model uh, what were the features that you were having at that time independent variables i would yeah. say uh yeah so uh, uh, here independent variables is uh, since how long that customer is there that uh, that we call as age so uh, the, from the registration to till now mm. the time we are training the model what is the age what is the, what is their recency what is their frequency is kyc is approved or not approved how many cars he has traded mm. how many teams he has participated what type of team he he has okay. entered what type of contest he has in note and so many lots of feature what is the definition of churn because every industry has a different definition what is the definition of churn over here for me is uh, we have we have decided one one window hmm. if that customer is not active those window it's mean churn if if uh, he is active in that period we are calling he is hmm. not churn okay great so i have learned a lot from this discussion i can see that uh, my viewers are going to also enjoy this talk at last i want to understand like uh, you have seen a lot of changes in your uh, career from from non technical to technical and then leading a team now what are the suggestions you want to give to the young generation or maybe enthusiast who are trying to enter into analytics field so the first thing is that if anybody is trying to be a part of the data science or any anyone is planning to start journey in the analytics or data science person first learn the sql and the basic mathematics sql is about sql is very mandatory because it help you to how to think logically mm. because sql is li- like it is logical thinking the way you think the way you can write the code query, yeah. so that's very important okay. and second is i i saw the multiple people who are writing query but optimization because when we work on the startup we have the cost issue 
if if we will not optimize the query it will increase the space and the time complexity board yeah. how how we can reduce the space and time complexity mm-hmm. once we are able to reduce the space and time complexity we will we will able to reduce the cost of the server mm-hmm. so we have to learn how we can write the complex problem and the third is that i saw the if any business problem come they just start writing the code they just start thinking about the fantasy mm-hmm. data science it's not like it they always you can solve the problem with the data science first understand the complete problem do the brainstorming with your stakeholder whatever problem is there how we can solve then get, spend some time then think about how you can solve not every problem is going to solve by the data science there is a multiple statistical approach there is a multiple uh, analytical approach due to uh, from which you can solve the problem so basically um not everything is modeling you have to use your mind yeah, logical yeah, thinking yeah. connect the dots and then yeah. solve the problem yeah completely great 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 so thanks for this particular your time and uh, giving our viewers with so much insightful knowledge re- regarding your journey and what all experience you have gained in your journey so that was all about for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it please do like share and subscribe this video and uh, connect with him over linkedin if you have any questions you can drop us over the comment section or maybe you can connect us over linkedin and you can find the link in the comment box all the thank best thank you thank you